Common sayings of lost people number nine. Well, I go to church. Um, if you died today, do you know for sure where you'd go? Well, I, I, well, I can't say for sure, but I do, I, I go to church. I, I, you know, I, I've done communion, and I was an usher, and I, I, I was a deacon for a while, and, and I was assistant pastor. I, I go to church. I go to church every time the doors are open. Um, well, the problem is uh, there's not one verse of Scripture that says go to church, or the people went to church, or you should be going to church every Sunday or whatever else. Uh, not one verse of Scripture. Let me show you a few passages of Scripture that will give you fits if you believe church is a building. Acts chapter 8, verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death, and at that time there was a great persecution against the church. Is that a building? No. Which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. It's talking about people, in other words. Verse 2. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house and hailing men and women committed them to prison. What's the church? The church were, was made up of men and women meeting in every house. And don't give me this nonsense. Well, they, they met in houses there in the first century because they were persecuted, but freedom came later, later on, and then they went and they built buildings and they called those churches. Uh, no scripture to prove that. All right? And even historically, you can't prove that. All right? It was many, many, many years over a thousand years later, you know, you get into America and things and they started building these, you know, well, you go with the Protestant Reformation, they started to build basically Catholic churches uh, with, you know, just they're protesting Catholics is all that they are. Protestants are, are protesting Catholics. You know, that's why they carry in a lot of the things that are unscriptural from the Catholic system, like baptismal regeneration and the sacraments and a lot of the other things, and church buildings, you know. And they, they bring that stuff in and then they say, um, you know, we're Christians now. We're, we're separate from Rome. No, you're not. No, you're not. And uh, it's only been recent uh, that uh, some of the countries have been building, you know, supposed Bible-believing church buildings. But the practice is not scriptural. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19 through 22. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth in, unto an holy temple in the Lord. See, so see right there, a building. You see that foundation, you know, framed together? You see it? It's a, it's a building. It's a physical building. Keep reading. Verse 22. In whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Hmm. It's talking about people. Okay? It is not talking about a physical building. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9, For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. You say, well, okay, Brian, it's not a big deal, though. If people want to meet in a house, if they want to meet in a field, if they want to meet out in the woods, if they want to meet in a church building, what's the big deal? Oh, it's very simple. Because, you see, when you have a church building someplace, then you can kind of go there and you, you, you find the right one that suits your needs. You see? You kind of like a little bit more liberal than you go with kind of a United Methodist Church with a female pastor there, or Presbyterian or whatever else. If, if you like kind of the more conservative and independent fundamental Baptist or, or whatever, you see, you aren't going there because the Bible says to go to church. You're going there because you want to find a little social club to be part of where you can go and you can pre pretend your Christian thing there, you know, when you're in church, but then the rest of the week you can watch things that you wouldn't do in church and you can listen to the kind of music that you wouldn't do in church and whatever else that's the problem first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 through 20 flee fornication every sin that a man doeth is without the body but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which ye have of god and ye are not your own for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So next time somebody says to you, I'm, I'm a good person, I go to church, show them those scriptures. Show them. Say, uh, going to church isn't in the Bible. Where did you get that? And uh, are you assured of salvation? Are you, do you know for sure that you're going to go to heaven because of your church membership? And can you please show me the support for that in Scripture? 
It's really quite simple.